Bienvenida Lupina, es un placer tenerte aquí en FTN de Madrid. Muchísimas gracias, es un placer, el placer es mío. Well, we will change to English now. So, you have been called the woman revolutionizing the Spanish fintech sector. That sounds really, really exciting. Um, so, before we dive into some of the general entrepreneurial sec um, questions for uh, Spain, I would really like to know a little bit more about your background, about how you founded Fintonic and what your journey was like starting out. Well, we started Fintonic in 2012 uh, and we were only four people at that moment. Right now, um, uh, Fintonic has more over one million users. So, yes, we've been growing a lot. And what it was behind? Behind it was our goal to help the people to put the power back into their hands so they could solve their financial needs in a transparent way an unbiased way, mm -hmm. so they could always make the best informed decisions to make the most with their money. Mm -hmm. So that was behind, and um, well, and um, it's still up today. <laughs> <laughs> From us, Fintonic is the trusted advisor. Mm -hmm. We never push the users to get something or our own products. No, of course not. We will get what is best always for them. Um, so they save money or so they have the best service and with the account the same. We are not going to force the people to have it. Um, if they want it, they will have it um, because it's a great product. That sounds fantastic. Sign me up for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I mean, you have come quite a long way already, right? You are a bit more mature now than, than started when you were starting out. Um, of course, you kept some of your agility, I, I take. Um, what were some of the challenges that you encountered, you know, building up your startup? Of course, journey. from the very beginning, we want to build uh, marketplaces because we really believe in, in this way of doing things because this is it's not wise to mm -hmm. take only what your bank offers you or what your insurance company offers you. So we are really proud of having marketplaces. So from the very beginning, we had the chicken and egg problem because you need first the users. Now we have mm -hmm. over one million, but uh, that when we start, we didn't have it. Then uh, you need also the providers or uh, the lenders in the ma lending marketplace or the insurance companies in the insurance marketplace. So uh, to do that, in order to do that, we also need to, what we did, it was we have our own book, our own lending book. So we were the first lending to our users. So to, well, to uh, of course, uh, demonstrate that we have a good expected loss and to do things. So, It takes time mm -hmm. to build things. I have to tell the, all the entrepreneurs and all the people are here, it takes time to do things mm -hmm. uh, in a proper way, in, in a safe way, because we're talking about finance. But it was a, a great journey. And now, uh, today, I am much more passionate than I was at the very beginning. Um, so when we're talking about entrepreneurs, actually, also now in Spain, What are some of the challenges you see for them right now, if you're starting out from scratch right now? Yes, starting from scratch or being a little bit bigger, I think now to survive, you have to have a solid business model. And, and I believe it's a balance between growing, but also having this solid unit economics. Um, in our case, we are going to be in break even in the following months, mm -hmm. and it took Uh, all this time, because in fintech it, it takes more time, but we are maybe only the one in, in the fintech uh, world that is going to have uh, or going to be in, in break even, you know. And so in the past, everyone was always thinking just only about growing, growing, growing. I think it's important to grow, mm -hmm. but I really feel that you need to have a solid business model. Mm -hmm. So please, uh, we need to tell all the entrepreneurs that they, they need to think about this. But surely there are still some opportunities for them. You mentioned earlier for early stage startups that there's inv investment opportunities. Yes. Do you see any other opportunities? Oh, of course, for there, there, there are fully, fully a lot of opportunities now in the fintech world, also in the femtech, also in health, health a lot, and now more than ever. Uh, health tech, insure tech, they need, they have a lot of space of improving or relieving pains from, from, from the people. So um, it's, Real, now we have great teams here, really great uh, engineers. Um, it's a great place to be in Spain, I really believe it, um, because you have the talent, and that's 
very important. So to create a team, you need to have a solid team. And I will tell the Spanish people, don't, don't feel uh, that you are worse than, than others, uh, like maybe in San Francisco or whatever, because it's not true. No, I definitely, I agree with you. I think there's a lot of potential in the Spanish market at the moment. Not. Um, but if you had to go a little bit back in time, or some of, or let's put it this way, some of the key learnings that you made along your journey, what would be things you would have done differently? Or what would you recommend, perhaps, to some of the people starting out? Well, with a it's very important to, um, for every startup, I believe, uh, that the idea is not so important, so don't keep it for yourself, just share it mm -hmm. with everyone. So hear a lot, all the suggestions, recommendations from everyone, pros, cons, everything. You need to be very open to receive feedback. I really believe it's very important how you secure the idea, not the idea per se, because <laughs> there are lots of Einsteins around the world <laughs> and they will... Um, I, your idea, I believe, is not going to be unique. Mm -hmm. So how you're going to execute it, so with whom you are going to partner, who's going to be working with you, because this is going to be like a roller coaster. Uh, you're going to have ups and downs. And you need to have a, a great partner. In my case, I started with Sergio Chalbo. Now we are, mm -hmm. we are three co-seers, Sergio Tora and myself. But um, with Sergio, I knew him since 2001. So uh, we knew each other, and it was really great no, to work mm -hmm. together. So please whom you chose to work with, how you execute, mm -hmm. and very, very important, the time to market. Um, not in Fintonic, but in other startups that uh, we found in the past. It was not the appropriate time to market. Mm -hmm. It was a product um, and a technology built just when for the interest rates, the rates when they were raising, and uh, the market went down, so it didn't yeah. work. So we didn't like test the demand beforehand and I believe that's, that's a huge mistake. Thank you so much for all your insights. I have one final question. What do you think about F10 and the potential that we have for the Spanish ecosystem? Well, I think it's great you've, you've launched here in Spain, Madrid and Barcelona mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I really believe you're going to help a lot of people and this is going to accelerate our ecosystem that I think is a great ecosystem, but we need more like you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true, and I really recommend the people uh, to apply here because with all the potential that you have, you are not just here in Spain, but mm -hmm. in Europe. So you have a very open mind and you have seen different um, kind of startups mm -hmm. and you have helped a lot in the past. So your ideas, suggestions, and recommendations are going to be great for all the entrepreneurs and you're going to make them think big. That's <laughs> for sure, that is definitely going to be true. <laughs> yes, and that's what they need, no? like to think big. Don't, don't think like here in Madrid or small mm -hmm. town in Spain or city in Spain. So um, I am really, really, really happy that you've launched and I know <laughs> you're going to do a great, great work. Thank you so much, Lupina, for all your insights and for having you here. Uh, it was a great pleasure and I hope we can welcome you back sometime in our ecosystem again. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me.